less fortunate, where I made care bags for them, which are Ziploc bags filled with small toiletries and snacks. And this year I'm doing that again. Last year we got to 100 bags, and this year we want to do that as well. And today I'm going to be on the news um, to show the, um, everybody what I've been doing. I teamed up with a nonprofit organization called The Crown Project. Um, the Crown Project is one of my, that organization I team up with a lot. And um, a few years ago when we did this drive, we also did do it with them. And we are, we have been getting a lot of donations and I'm really excited. Can we get it First interview of the day. <laughs> You're tired. But it's for a good cause, right? Okay. <laughs> minus 11 in Montreal, mostly cloudy skies. Joliet, it's minus 18. Granby, we're sitting at minus 11 degrees. Over to Lita Pulsen, she's looking at the morning drive, public transit, sidewalks, bike paths. Good morning. Hira Milan Brown for the drive. Kyra Milan Brown came up with the idea for the Care Bags project. She joins me on the line now with Lorena Gabriel. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Kyra, I'll start with you. What is a Care Bag? Um, a Care Bag is a Ziploc bag that contains a small toiletries such as deodorant, cream, shampoo, toothbrush, toothpaste, and water. And in the winter, we add gloves hats and scarves and in the more rainy seasons we add ponchos uh, how did you first come up with this idea um when i lived in vancouver i seen a video of a mom and her daughter making these bags and at the time i loved helping out my community so i thought um this could be a great idea uh, so I, i'm guessing just because uh, a lot of people have to you know budget because cost of living is rising. Um, so a lot of people have to make different decisions this year. And I, um, I feel like from some people that I spoke to uh, that I have culture with, uh, they just have to, you know, keep in mind that it is the holiday season. Uh, so they can't donate as much as they did previously. Uh, that went good. I also partnered up with the Crown Project to do that as well. We did get a lot of backpacks. It was also super fun to hand those out we actually went to a community center and handed them out and it was really fun 
super excited about that okay. and it'll be in two magazines so far so i do things like after school i ship packages i pack orders i count inventory i package inventory and i film content that's great so you, you talked about this a little bit but i want to go into a little bit more detail so you know you're a student you're a business owner and i think our readers are going to be curious about what your day-to-day -day life sort of looks like so can you walk us through what a typical day might be like for you really a huge inspiration um she taught me a lot well she taught me everything that i know about hair about the business and just about things in general also i think a lot of other women figures in my life so my aunts my grandmas that's great so you mentioned you don't really talk too much about your going to see Wish. I don't even know what this movie, what is this movie about? It's Frozen Moana mixed together and I think it was also The Little Mermaid I think and the girl wishes on the star and she has to save the world I think. Sounds like a good movie. Now we're getting snacks. Here's $800. What? <laughs> snacks, $800. Mm. You like butter on your popcorn? But sometimes it gets soggy. Oh, okay. And then it gets cold. Mm. That's why I gotta eat it fast. That's what Kalia told me. Are you excited to see the movie? <laughs> oh, you're right. The ceiling is leaking. What's going on here? Skipping no. <laughs> Number three, numéro trois. <laughs> this poutine does not look very appetizing, but not even if you don't finish it. yeah, of course. Mm -hmm. Look, you have a birthday party here. Nope. nope. Movie party. Not the leaky ceiling. Um, birthday party. Wish. Wish. This is what we came to see. This is what I want to see. I don't remember when our number was. It was right no, it was a little bit up. Jamaica. Jamaica? <laughs> don't worry, don't Kelly, what's going on over here? Jamaica! <laughs> <laughs> scars that we have extra this is the inventory that we have for the bags and now we're going to go to the store and buy the rest of the supplies that we need because this is all we have and we're trying to make 100 bags and this is the monetary donations we got about 632 i bought some stuff for 40 dollars. we took that out and now we have 5.92. So today we're gonna try and spend 5.92. First thing we have to do is drop off one package today. Okay, now we're going into our den. Hopefully we can find some hats reasonably priced because the ones at the dollar store are 4.50 to $5 each. And if you do the math, four times forty is one sixty. No math, bro. So I just did that off the top of my head. No, 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 no we didn't do it in the. Okay, car. let's go. Let's see if they you have hats for sale. Oh, I did so this one has bags. hair in it. Oh, put that back. We'll put this one in the bags. <laughs> so we find hats three for ten. Oh wait, it's not so it's hair. It's a little. Well, you're still saving a little bit, so let's get a few hats. 
Six. Didn't you just say there was hair in that? No, no. it's not hair. <laughs> okay. What do you need those for? Jingle, jingle. <laughs> okay, Callie, look, look at that black hat. Get that one. Jingle, jingle. Pick out three. Now you're gonna hear when I come. Yay, my favorite number. 30? Okay. Pyro, wait up! I always wanted wings. Let me see, well, what did you get, Callie? Oh, These gloves. <laughs> These rings. These rings are not gonna fit your finger. No nail polish. No, I'm not looking at nail polish. But it has Costco time. How was your free sample? Too fast. What was it? Oh, gummies. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna get the supplies to the dollar store. So we're gonna need about 50 of these. 14. 16. Okay. So much stuff. Look. It's a good thing nobody's in line. So much stuff. Because I would be stuff. waiting for an hour. Baby, you don't know what you do to me Between me and you, I feel like chemistry I won't let no one The things that make you excited, I love it Spinny door <laughs> Spinny door What is it like spinny doors? Mm. <laughs> you gotta wait Which chair made for sitting? It's a ski chair Make the season kind. I want to eat my cookie. I love cookies. Remember that girl cookie I got? Oh, yeah. What do you oh, rate yeah. the cookie? 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10, yeah, it's pretty good. 11 out of 10. Premium cookie. Some candles from Burnt Banana. We got a nugget candle, <laughs> a pickle candle, and a candle that looks like an egg. That's just how they look. That's how they smell. They smell good. They don't actually smell like chicken nuggets and pickles and eggs. They're just shaped like that. <laughs> So, how did you like the event? No comment. <laughs> nah, I'm just joking. It was good. It was fun. Yeah. Something to do. Something different. I like the cookie. Yeah. <laughs> what do you need two for? Hi, Mama Curly here. Just want to close off the vlog. One thing we always forget is to close off the vlog. So I just want to show you the bag that Carter and the Crown Project made. This is it, all packed up. They actually reached their goal, which was 100. They surpassed it and did 104 bags, which is amazing. We were able to donate 104 bags to Open Doors, which is a nonprofit organization here in our city that caters to the homeless population. They were so thankful for the donation. It was a really humbling experience dropping off these bags. Thanks again to everyone who helped with this initiative, helped with the donations. It was amazing. A lot was going on in this vlog. You saw Kyra on the news. You saw her on the radio. She did an interview after school. She did another interview with Callie. Some big things are going to be happening in 2024 for the Corley Curls girls. I'm so excited. We cannot wait to share. Thank you again for watching this vlog. Hope you enjoyed it. 
I'm a little behind. I know we were putting out a vlog every week. Life, life's happening. <laughs> As you see, these girls always have something going on. So thank you again. And thank you so much for 20K subs, 20K. My goal was to end 2023 with 10K and we surpassed that. Thank you so much. Thank you to all our new subscribers. Hope you like this vlog and please, the 20k just motivated me to push out more content, so stay tuned for our next vlog. Thank you for watching. Bye!